Hey guys, Matt here. Uh, tonight I have a little video for you that can help you find out what is um, causing your hard drive to be so active. What is uh, causing it to make that crunching sound constantly and your hard drive light is on nonstop. Um, I'm just going to show you really quickly a built-in tool in Windows that will allow you to kind of diagnose uh, just kind of see where the issue is uh, stemming from. So it's uh, pretty simple. You just right click down here on your taskbar and hit task manager. Start task manager. Uh, go ahead and go over to performance and then right down here is a button called a resource monitor. And when you open up resource monitor it may o open this up to like the overview tab for you or whatever the CPU but you want to go ahead and click disk and right now I can uh, see that um, the stuff that is really kind of eating up my disk I can find out you know it'll be up here it says processes with di disk activity um, and then down here same kind of thing I'm looking right here uh, I can I can sort by you know what's what's causing all the disk activity so the things causing the most amount of writes right now um, I see a lot of system nothing I can do about that but search indexer I certainly can I really don't need the search indexer running I don't need to search for things on my computer constantly I kinda know where everything is uh, so if you're not using uh, if you're not using search too much on your computer like me um, you can go ahead and disable that service so right here using those built-in um, using this built-in resource monitor I was able to find out that hey search is causing a lot of uh, disk activity let's go ahead and turn off search and I can go right to my uh, services to do that and I'll just double click that it says uh, system 32 search indexer that is indeed what we are seeing up here a lot of disk writes right there we'll go ahead and disable that Turn, shut, uh, shut it off then we'll hit disabled and then you can go ahead and reboot we'll just start this uh, PC without that service uh, enabled So yeah, disabling the the Windows Search is really going to really going to speed up a Windows 7 box. Um, if you're if you're not searching for stuff every day, there's really no reason to have it on. Okay, uh, I rebooted. So let's take a look at things now. So I don't hear um, any hard drive. Uh, activity at this point. PC is um, much more responsive and uh, I'll go into resource monitor, go to disk and um, right away we, we see no more we don't see any more of the uh, search indexer um, none of that's going on so that's a lot of disk I.O. that we just cut out very simply by disabling a service that we were really not using so if I uh, expand down here, we can go ahead and kind of look at the next culprits. And a lot of these you can't do anything about. You know, this is writing to the registry. Um, yeah, a lot of these are just system. That's like a system restore being written. Um, but you can you can really use this to kind of find out, you know, what is really eating up the hard drive and uh, where to go from there. So it's a little bit limited in the fact that you could, you're kind of relying on some of the reporting just in Windows, like services.exe. Well, a lot of things run under services.exe, um, and a lot of them are necessary. So not too many things you can really disable. Um, but let's go ahead and give you an example. If I uh, if I had uh, something like a disk. Uh, defragment or constantly running. Maybe somebody screwed up its configuration. We're like, what's going on? We can go ahead and take a look at that. 
and we should start to see that here. So it's probably going to do some reads and some writes in a few minutes. Highly enough, it's not doing much. Yeah, there it is. So right now we can see, hey, yeah, uh, SVC host uh, defrag service is really, um, really, really chewing up some reads um, a second. So, yeah, right there you're able to say, oh, okay, that's running, that shouldn't be running, and you could just go ahead and close it and you know get rid of that uh, process. So, anyway, I hope that um, helps you guys out with uh, figuring out what's uh, killing your hard drive. Um, I used this a few days ago at work. Um, it was really effective at finding out that there was just some process that was chewing up um, some hard, uh, hard drive uh, cycles. So, anyway, uh, that's it for this video. See you later.